What's up, everybody? All the beautiful people. So uh, last night we got this bad boy fired up. I got jacked up. I want to get to drive this thing. So to do that, we got to put some stuff back together. I uh, figured, I mean, I'm driving without the quarter glass in it. So let's get this bumper. I want to work on this bumper. Put these lights in place. I just took them off the old one. Got them over on the workbench. We'll get those cleaned up. Get it all bolted on. I left this there, that tow hook. Because I'll probably be towing this car a bunch on a trailer or in a trailer. And I wanted to make sure I could secure it down. I want to cut it off because as of right now, it hits on this exhaust. Even though we're getting, we have a new exhaust to put on. It hits on that one. It makes some terrible rattling noise. So I want to just cut it off, but I think I need to keep it. Let me know if you cut it off, if you're keeping it, if you have another idea on what to do. Um, for right now, we're going to leave it, put it all up. I was going to put that other exhaust on and see how that works, if it's better or not. And uh, right now I'm going to freshen up these lights because the lights that I just pulled off that old bumper have overspray and are dirty. So I figured we can just clean them up probably just maybe get a cool LED light or some bulb to put in there I'll just probably take some 1500 or 2000 grit and just clean them up like that and then I have some just a little clear coat we'll just clear them be done with that so I'm gonna start working on that and get this thing back together put them in this so this bumper is KBD KBD bumper I think it's the GP1 I think that's what the model is but uh super happy with it so far how to cut this spot out and that uh, but overall the fitment was i mean it probably as close to bolt up as you can with aftermarket body panels so definitely definitely recommend that so let's get to work on this So 1200, clean that up nice looking 100 times better. Bring some 2000, hit it with that, and then wipe this all down, and then we'll clear it. All right, so we got them all cleaned up. Lights cleaned up, washed, dried them out. I'm gonna hit them up with this uh, universal clear stuff. Uh, works great. Uh, that should be done. We'll just try and find some LED light bulbs and make it pop. Alright, this is, uh, I just used the factory actual bumper. On this bumper cover and just bolted up there. The bumper cover actually basically has knockouts for all those bolts right there and knockouts for the lights that we're working on right now. <clears throat> just have to cut them all out. But I uh, will try this. I'm gonna get uh, a bash bar at some point, but I want to yeah, have some type of protection back there. And I'm interested on these toe, these toe hooks. This one was perfect. That one's kind of in the way, so we'll see. But that's how I have this bumper set up. Uh, bumper cover fits perfect on it. Goes into the car great. I do like the look of the car without, without the bumper or bumper cover. That's where if someone hits you in the back, that fuel tank's right there. So, that's cool, whatever. We'll rock the classic 240 look. It's a mess back here. Got some pieces we need to paint back there. All the lights. 
You gotta put the lights back in, get this hatch lined up a little bit and uh, work on the interior. But yeah, it's a mess in there. Get it cleaned up. Woo, looking good. All right, so I just sunk two in there, <laughs> kind of eyeballed it. It's tricky how to hold it from the back to stop from going forward. The stop where I, the screw, the hole on the other side was and popped it in there and it worked. Um, I don't know, I don't really see fighting with it to get the third one in. I think it'll be fine. Looks good, lenses are cleaned up, they're cleared. Still looking for those LED bulbs. So we got these bolts in over here. Those three down there. They are right. Those two. And then there's a third one that's further down. I threw the nut on it because just to hold it in place better. So that whole bracket's in place. Um, just in case you don't know, those two bolts, those two bolts hold the bumper on. We'll put a, this bracket on right in here. Bolts it up back in there. Really didn't have to trim this uh, bumper at all to fit. I'm telling you, this KBD parts right out of the box are pretty awesome and they're almost indestructible. I had to do a little trimming just like right here. I don't even think it was on that side, it was on this side. Right here, it was a little bit more squared. It's a little bit more squared and just had to make it round to go with that. It should fit in there really nice. We've already tested it multiple times. All right, so let me throw this bracket on and uh, we'll be one step closer to driving this on the street. All right, all right so that side's all on. Looking good, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna zip these bolts down. Right here, like I said, those are the ones I'll hold it on, so. something to fill that hole. That's what she said. <clears throat> but, just some 180 SX tail lights to put back in there, but I don't know if those are going to cut it. I think I found something yesterday when we were looking for the stuff for the radiator, those grommets, the bracket, whatever. I think I'm having a little something that'll, that'll fit that hole nicely. But, uh, check that out in a minute. Okay, so that bumper is uh, in. Next, we're gonna fit this. I'm gonna use that hole. Fit this here. Put something there. I think it should hold it. Walk over to the table. Oh, what's that? What's that? Walk over here, get a look at the Mishimoto, because it's beautiful. So when I picked up these bolts, which we're gonna use one of these, we picked up some of those too. Oh, what's this? A little something there too that came in today. Picked up some of these. I used them on the front bumper right here to hold the nut on the other side. And I think we're gonna use them on this one. Try to grab down here. 
drill bits. Walk over here. Check this out. All right, so like I said, we picked up one of these. I think I'm just gonna use this hole right here. We can slap that bad boy right there. That way we don't have to worry about nut or anything. Not to drill a hole in this bumper. So we got these. Let me go grab. Let's go grab the drill. Just right, right where I left it. All right, yeah. All right, so I don't know how good I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed, but we'll see. Oh, let's see. How's that view? Terrible? Perfect. There you go. All So that's it. So we have the clip, the clip on the car, uh, holds the nut there. Those are cheap, man. They're worth it. Just go to the body shop and buy some decent, the auto body supply store and buy some decent bolts, all new bolts, buy some freaking new nuts, washers and stuff, and they're cheap there. Now we could put a zip tie here in case, you know, we get a little crazy. The zip tie will break. I'm just gonna, I'm putting a bolt there. I don't know. I don't know if I like how the bolt looks. Honestly, it kind of sits out a little much. I might get something else, something a little a bit more low profile, but I think we should zap it with something else right here too. Another one, definitely another one. There's another hole right there. We do have to take the tire off for that. For right now, That'll be good. I'll grab a wrench. I won't get that tightened up for now. See, this side fits a little bit different. It's not as tight. It's got some more slack there on the bumper. Um, go grab. Let's go grab another one of those. What? The steering wheel. Wrong side. Another one of these. Maybe.
Alright, there she is. Boom. Sunk up. Get that other one on next time we get the wheels off. For right now, this is plenty fine. So, whoa. Let's see this bumper's installed. Woo. It's looking good. Bumper's in. So when I start the car, it's talking about that. It's, that's slapping on there all the time. Probably get that other exhaust on there and we'll see how it is. Um, boom. Yeah, that's awesome. So we need some windows, some tail lights, some trim. There's the there's the rear kit bolted into place. Hatch is looking all fresh. Alright, so man, shiny. Need some door handles. Perfect. Shirt. The counterpart to the red one. <clears throat> Actually, I ordered this at uh, on Black Friday. I guess it must have been on back order or something. All right, so we got the rear bumper in. We got a cool little package T-shirt in. Um, got the radiator in. Get these doors put back together. These windows back in. I got. You can see I got some trim right here figure out which ones are going on the car. I got some extra pieces too because I've had like three of these cars. Oh, excuse me. Um, figure out what trim's going to go on there. Get it painted. That's the rear tail light deal is on there too. Paint that. Side skirts. Get this thing cleaned up. Windows in. Uh, we can put the sunroof in. Sunroof, moonroof, whatever that thing wants to be called. Put that in. Clean up the interior. Throw those vents back in. I need to get this into place. It's too far that way. Throw those bags out. Relocate the battery. So that's what I got to do. Right now the battery won't fit under the hood. Um, you know, intercooler piping problems. We got front mount intercooler problems. So the battery doesn't fit there. I used to use this, this tractor battery. I still have it. Small little lawnmower battery. It'll do the job, but... It's still too tight. Um, I was looking, I was looking earlier online to get all the pieces to do it, the cable, the box, the clamps. Um, so we need that before we can drive it and everything else. So I guess we should order that stuff. Um, put this back together while we're waiting for it to show up. Then perfect. Get the registration renewed on it and I think we can go rip. All right, so we're hanging out in this beautiful garage with all these beautiful cars and you beautiful people working on this bad boy. And you're in here for a while. You kind of lose track of time and you open the door. And all this snow. So. get this place cleaned up for the night and uh, get the wife's car in here so it's not too terrible tomorrow morning but I just thought that was something kind of fun to share with you um, be safe out there go uh, we're gonna call it a day check back tomorrow maybe even later today we'll post something else up this project is going to continue so thanks again for watching about the Instagram Go ahead and subscribe, check out the videos, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.